Hello students, welcome to standard 9th mathematics 2 digital class. Basic concepts in geometry. Indirect proof. As you know, there are two types of proofs. Direct proof and indirect proof. In the previous session, we have learned how to prove the theorem using direct proof. Today, we are going to prove a statement using indirect proof. This type of proof starts with an assumption that the consequent is false. Using it and the properties accepted earlier, we start arguing step by step and reach a conclusion. The conclusion is contradictory and with, uh, with the antecedent or a property which is already accepted. Hence, the assumption that the consequent is false goes wrong. So, it is accepted that the consequent is true. So, let us study indirect proof with an example. Statement. A prime number greater than 2 is all. That is, we have to prove this statement. A prime number greater than 2 is all. First, we will write this in the form of conditional statement. That is, if P is a prime number greater than 2, then it is all. Before proving a statement, conditional statement, we have to write the given part and the part to be proved. So, what is given in the statement? P is a prime number greater than 2. That is, 1 and P are the only devices of P. That you know what is a prime number. A prime number has only two factors. That is, 1 and the number itself. What is to prove? P is a odd number. So, first we will suppose that P is not an odd number. Let us suppose that P is not an odd number. Then if P is not an odd number, then it is an even number. So, P is an even number. That is, therefore, it is a device, uh, the divisor of P is 2. Therefore, a divisor of P is 2. Let this be equation number 1. But it is given that the only divisors of P are 1 and P. But it is given that P is a prime number Greater than 2. Therefore, 1 and P are the only divisors of P. 1 and P are the only divisors of P.
Let this be equation number 2. See, if you observe equation number 1 and equation number 2, that is equation number 1 is a divisor of P is 2. Equation number 2 is 1 and P are the only divisors of P. So, you can see that these two statements are contradictory. Statements. One and two are contradictory. So, therefore, the assumption that P is not odd, we, we have uh, taken that P is not an odd number. So, this is wrong. Therefore, the assumption that P is not odd is false. That is what we have assumed is false. Therefore, this proves that a prime number greater than 2 2 is odd. So, this proves, this proves our conditional statement. That is, if P is a prime number greater than 2, then it is odd. So, this is how to prove a conditional statement by using indirect proof. So, students, you have to write this theorem in your notebook. Thank you.